Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel and uh, Windows 10. Uh, we have a little bit of news from Microsoft today about a version that is 20H2. 20H2 was the uh, October 2020 update and 20H2 is going to come to an end as Microsoft reminded everyone today in May of this year. So, um, you know, we talk about how Windows has an 18-month cycle for each feature update. So that 18-month cycle for the May, the uh, October 2020 update is coming to an end. So uh, you can check out your version number or which version you have by issuing a WinVer command in the search. And it's going to tell you which version you have. So you should be at something else if possible but if you see version 20h2 which would be build 092 uh, 19042 sorry 19042 you are going to have end of support in may now may is not tomorrow but it's close so it's time to think about it um, what's happening if you are on 20h2 microsoft says that now starting from now on if you go to your windows updates um, and check out, you should see that you're going to be moved or pushed to uh, possibly 21 um, H2, which is the latest version of Windows 10, and it's going to show up here. Um, until now, it was an optional update, so some of you might have seen it uh, as an optional update for 21 H2, but now it will be a forced update that's going to show up. Unless something is wrong, it might actually force update you to 21H1, but might as well go to 21H2, and you'll be okay for more than a year if you go there. So uh, another version slowly coming to an end. So that means that you have February, March, and April, and May. So we have February updates, but March, April, and May uh, for the security updates, and in May, your Patch Tuesday updates for the month of May will be the last one. After that, your Windows operating system will start to get outdated and have uh, possible security flaws over time. So check it out. Move on to 21H2. I think is the best thing to do. And um, anyways, if you are on 20H2, you should be uh, forced updated to 21H2 or 21H1 in the coming weeks. And uh, there's not really much difference, and it's a small cumulative update, so it shouldn't take too long to install on most PCs. So another reminder from Microsoft that that version slowly coming to an end in a few months' time. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.